This is Optimal Startup Daily, episode 799, Three Ways to Become Insanely Productive, by Audie Redzik of audiredzik.com. And I'm Dan, I am your host and narrator here. Welcome back to Optimal Startup Daily, or welcome for the first time if you are new here. This is where I read to you from some of the best blogs on entrepreneurship. And today we have the pleasure of hearing from Adi Redzik again. We haven't heard from him in a while, so uh, let's jump right into this post and listen to his thoughts on how to become insanely productive as we optimize your life. Three Ways to Become Insanely Productive by Adi Redzik of adiredzik.com Are you overwhelmed by everything you feel you have to accomplish in your day? Does it seem like no matter what or how much you get done, your to-do list just keeps growing, much like your inbox? In today's always-on and go-go-go culture, it can seem like no matter what you do, there's always something else to check off your list. And when you don't, you may feel like you failed. When you have a lot on your plate, your instinct might be to just run faster. Whoever taught you that was wrong, because that only leads to burnout. Thankfully, there's a better way. Here are three simple and easy hacks that you can start using immediately to increase your productivity and gain back your peace of mind. One, focus on getting the important stuff done. Your days may be filled with lots of tasks that could or should get done. And by could, I mean that somebody could accomplish that task. However, that somebody doesn't always have to be you. In fact, it probably shouldn't be you. It all comes down to this, prioritize. Not every task holds the same weight. Every day, pick three to five most important things that you have to get done, and don't worry about the rest. Important is not the same as urgent. A lot of things may feel urgent, but they're not important. Focus on what will matter the most in the long run. Individuals who are on top of their game understand this. President Eisenhower used to say, if it's urgent, it probably isn't important. It may seem paradoxical, because it is, But when you focus on less, you actually achieve more. When you're not overwhelmed with 50 tasks, you'll be able to clear the important three much faster, and that will give you the energy, the motivation, and the time to go after the next three. Two, declutter your mind in the morning. Like most people, you probably wake up and immediately your brain starts racing. Maybe you can't help but think about the argument you had with your friend the day before, or worry about the meeting you have that day. This is natural. While you were sleeping, your mind wasn't. It was processing information. How you manage these random and pestering thoughts will make all the difference in whether you run the day or the day runs you. An easy way to prevent these mental distractions from getting in your way is to write them all out unfiltered. You don't need to structure these thoughts. Just write whatever is on your mind, however random, and run with it. Do this for about three pages soon after you wake up. I do it every morning with coffee or when I'm overwhelmed. This practice serves as a brain valve, a release of all the unnecessary thoughts so that you can clearly focus on the important ones. Pushing these thoughts down or ignoring them can limit your ability to focus and remain balanced throughout the day. And three, get clear on your goals. Your goals are the benchmarks in the pursuit of your vision. They're also, or should be, the expressions of your inner purpose. As such, if they're real and authentic to you, They will fuel your motivation to keep going when the going gets tough. They can also have a powerful impact on your productivity because they instantly answer the question, will this task matter a month from now, five months from now, a year from now? Without clear goals, you won't be able to tell which tasks will push the needle forward the most. This ties back to prioritizing the important activities over all others. So what are your goals? Once you're clear on this every day, ask yourself, Does this task match my goals and will it help me achieve them? If the answer is no, scrap it or push it down the list. If the answer is yes, then make sure you get it done. This isn't to say that every task will be directly tied to your goals, but the important ones need to be. Otherwise, you'll be a hamster in a wheel. What's most important to remember here is that it's impossible to get everything done and quite frankly, you'll soon realize that you won't want to anyway. Being productive is simpler than it seems. So let's summarize. One, spend less of your time doing more, especially if more of what you're doing is not in alignment with your priorities and goals. Always focus on your most important tasks and what will matter the most in the long run. Two, how you handle distractions can make or break your productivity. 
Decluttering your mind in the morning is a great way to eliminate one of your biggest distractions when working, your random subconscious thoughts. And lastly, being busy isn't the same as being productive. It may give you a feeling of accomplishment, but not the accomplishment itself. What do you prefer, a busy life or a life of accomplishment? You just listened to the post titled Three Ways to Become Insanely Productive by Audie Redzik of audiredzik.com. And a big thank you to Audie. Audie Redzik is an entrepreneur, life and business coach, author, and motivational speaker. From a war-torn childhood to meetings at the White House, Audie has proven the possibility of change and the limitless power of determination. Driven by a desire to live life on his own terms, Adi has transformed his own life and is obsessed with helping other individuals and organizations to reach their greatest potential. You can check out his personal and business coaching on his site, which again is adiredzik.com. That's A-D-I-R-E-D-Z-I-C.com. But that's gonna do it for episode 799. I hope you enjoyed the post and that you're having a great day. And I'll be right back here with you tomorrow where your optimal life awaits.